This is a quick tour of EpiVis, an interactive visualization tool for functional genomics. Like other tools, EpiVis is organized into tracks that display data that is referenced by genomic location. This includes regions of interest or continuous measurements along the genome. Here we show regions of DNA methylation modifications in colon cancer. There is also data that is organized by genomic feature, like gene or transcript expression. We use appropriate visualizations like scatter plots to show those. Navigation along the genome works, and all displays are updated, both tracks and plots. We have also made data from the gene expression barcode available. We can see the expression pattern we observe in colon cancer in these hypomethylation regions also occurs in other cancer types. We use D3.js for visualization, so visual elements are mapped to data elements. We use that to link data across tracks and plots using brushing. Tracks and plots are resizable, easily reordered, and colors can be selected. And since we use D3, all tracks and plots can be saved as static image files like PDFs that can be used to create publication-ready figures. However, we want to make reproducible dissemination of results easy, so users can save and share workspaces with collaborators or even link to them in publications. We distinguish data from visualization. That means we can define new measurements from existing data and display it alongside other data. For example, here we transform colon cancer expression data, so we can display the commonly used MA plot. EpiVis has a flexible plugin system where new data types and new D3 visualizations can be easily added. Now, the most important feature of EpiVis is its companion R package, EpiVisor. It implements WebSocket connections between EpiVis and interactive R sessions, so we can use EpiVis as an interactive, browsable, searchable display device for functional genomics data and analysis in Bioconductor. Check out the EpiVis project on GitHub and let us know what you think.